Flipping into videos, it's your boy Lion Tom here with episode 32, I believe, our WWF 1996 series. And how far out of Survivor Series are we? Let's look at our schedule here. We got one, two more shows, and then Survivor Series. So, should come out in a week or so, a week and a half, Survivor Series. And let's jump right into. Monday Night Raw, let's go a little show recap if you didn't see the last one. Those superstars, not what I want to see. Undertaker made his return, joining Shawn Michaels. And, yeah. Remember, we're building up to Survivor Series. We got two big shows. So, I'll be back when the show's booked. Alright, we're back with the show. I don't think it's gonna be a great show. There's a lot of like introducing people, introducing things, and yeah. So, not gonna be our best show, but jump right into it. Where in front of 10,900 people at the Myriad Convention Center, Jim Ross and Vince McMahon are shown on screen on commentary at the commentary booth, saying, "Tonight, all the teams will be announced and must be known by the end of the night." Starts off with the 57 C minus about to suffer us in little heat. Zebekai's cult defeats Mark Henry in Fat 2 in about 10 minutes when Justin Hawk Bradshaw defeats Fat 2 by pinfall. Justin Hawk Bradshaw carried the match and Mark Henry is the weak link. Mark Henry might go down to developmental. Now that I got one. Then in 92A, Hunter Stone Cold with them talking to his team about who's going to be the last one. Hunter Assembly comes in and says, you know, I asked a couple weeks ago. But I still haven't gotten back to me. Let me be that last member. Let me be that final member. And St Stone Cold says, you want it? Prove it. Prove yourself. All these men have proved themselves, but you haven't. Prove yourself. If you want a shot at Stone Cold's team. If you want a shot at Survivor Series. Prove it. Then in the 62 seed, DC Matt Vampiro defeats Jerry Lawler in about eight minutes with a nail in the coffin. And Jerry Lawler and Vampiro have good chemistry. That's cool. Jerry Lawler at 57, Vampiro at 55. Jerry Lawler was not happy, by the way. And then Shawn Michaels is back with Sonny and he introduces his team. It's going to be him, Vampiro, Bader, Ahmed Johnson, and The Undertaker. So yeah, good match. Shawn Michaels is a real star. Talk about how his team doesn't matter because you got hit the heart. You got the up and coming kid. You got Vampiro, who you just saw go out and take out a legend of the business. You got the big man Vader, who I've gone one on one with. Let me tell you, when he gets those hands on you, there ain't much you can do. You got Ahmed Johnson, one of the baddest guys in the business. You got The Undertaker, The Phenom, what, how do you kill what can't, it's already dead, a man who is buried alive and came back a few weeks later, and then you got me, the Heartbreak Kid, Shawn Michaels, the World Champion. There ain't no way that Snake's team then in the 77 B in a decent bout match, Ahmed Johnson and Vader defeat Bomb and Crush in about 10, 8 minutes when Vader defeated Adam Bomb by pinfall. Vader carried it with an 89, Ahmed had a 63, 52 for Bomb, 53 for Crush. Vader came out looking good, Adam Bomb, and then following that in the 82, Robert's final memory is introduced because there's... Vader and Ahmed Johnson are celebrating. The Cycle State comes out, knocks Vader out behind, hits, pushes Ahmed Johnson out of the way, starts beating up Vader. Ahmed Johnson starts to come to Vader's aid, and out comes Farouk. The debut of Farouk, who lays out Ahmed Johnson with the Dominator. And Jake Roberts comes out and says, Let me introduce you to the final member of my team. Uh, so, 
Yep. And then Bret Hart's out back with his team and says, this is my team. You know, Bret Hart, he has to be campy. You got the Smoking Guns, former World Tag Team Champions, who have beaten my brother and brother-in-law before. You got the up-and-coming, the blue chip prospect. The future of this business. And Rocky Maivia. And you got Mark Merrow. A backbone of the WWF. Someone I know that I can trust. So, there's that. Then we followed up with the 92A and about the great wrestling and good heat. Shawn Michaels defeats Conan in 15-15 by pinfall to Sweet Chin Music. Shawn Michaels had a 96, Conan had a 60. And he's getting better in Rumble. Lead us into a 93A where our backstage, we get it. Cameras rushing back there with Hunter. These little cameras are thrown and Hunter's seen thr smashing Bret Hart in a wall, beating him down. Just throwing him against things and he jumps up. He says, is this good enough? Is this good enough? Is it? Hunter out of town. Bret Hart came across well. Hunter, great chemistry. Mm -hmm. uh, Sable, so is it good enough? We'll find out. 89, apparently it was a good show. I didn't think so. A lot of backstage segments, but hey. It can't be worse than what they're doing nowadays. So let's see what any emails are. All right. Kendall Willem's contract is a... 29, uh... I'll keep you around for another nine. What are you making now? 900 and you want that much more? Uh... I mean, you are a world former tag team champion. Let me up. Popularity. Uh, where is that? Yeah, I can see it. We've gotten them up in six months. So that we got a 80 something, what'd they get? Like a 70? Yeah. The advance a day. There's the man. So I'm bringing in people. So I'm going to pause it to see if I want to bring them in or not. And we'll be right. And if you, if I skip over it, you'll see, you'll know why. All right. It's no one important yet. So I'll complete these contracts. And it's Scott Taylor. But you'll see the other person that I'm bringing in that I don't want you guys to see. So I'm going to pause it and we'll... Alright. There's one person that I'm going to bring in. And... I have a plan for him. And I... Want it to happen, so... Maybe that's him. Let's see. Oh, Bobby Duncan. And Steve Blackman. All right, another pause. A lot of pauses because I'm too lazy to edit like a real person. But all right, Thursday is this where Superstars is? Bobby Duncan needs to be given a roster spot. So enhancement. All right, let's go to this so I can. St. John Arena. All right, I'll be back when I get the show booked. All right, we're here for Superstars. Let's throw some music on and jump into it. And then uh, 73 B minus in front of 3,000 people at St. John Arena. Farouk defeats Leaf Cassidy with a spine buster in six minutes. 54 C minus uh, because Colt defeats Tom Pritchard and Duke Dross in eight and a half minutes when Kendall defeats by pinfall with the bulldog and then after that we get introduced to uh, the newest member of the cult Bobby Duncan jr. who in a 17 F defeats Matt Hardy with a big lariat in seven minutes oh we have 
Discord message. Uh, then a Team Heart graphic. A Team Stone Cold graphic where Hunter has Helmsley. He's on there, but is he still on the team? Is he on the team? Then a Team Roberts graphic, followed by a Team Michaels graphic, followed by Mark Marrow defeating the 1 2 3 kid in about 8.5 minutes with Shooting Star Press. Bobby Duncan Jr. was used too much. That's cool. That's cool. That's cool. So, who's the Rockin' Rebel? Looks abroad. So, Jerry Sags is now working new areas. Two, three, five. So I was gonna hype off on it. These aren't either of them. There's a heel. Yeah. Car Ulit. Gonna be a face. He's the man I didn't want you guys to see. Dan Spy. We're bringing in Dan Spy. We're getting him out of retirement because I want to use him because I got some plans for him. PCO. I just wanted to see. John Pierre Lafitte. Jean-Pierre Lafitte was going to be a mid-carder. Jacques Rougeau, I'm going to bring him, how bad is his? I don't need another tag team. But I did need more face people. Waylon Mercy. Good plans for him. He's going to be my Bray Wyatt, because that's what Bray Wyatt's character was put on. But he's not going to lose every night like Bray Wyatt. Ooh, November to remember. So Raven and Brian Lee defeat the Sandman. Tommy Dreamer defeats Devon Dudley. The Eliminators defeat New Jack and Media retain the tag team title. Toots court Scorpio win a film contest with Hat Myers. 
Mikey Whipwreck defeated Bad Crew number two, and the Pitbulls defeated Ch Chetty and Damian Stone. This looks like it'd be fun to play, but I know that silly talk. It's already you and one. So. Antichrist of pro wrestling? No. I'm trying to do something like next generation or something. Go that cocky. And I think that's going to do it for that. I just didn't want Jericho to leave. And my problem with all of these is trying to not go off and do random shit. But, you know, that's what this is. I've already uh, changed a lot of stuff. So, you know, why not bring in Chris? Because I'm like, oh, Chris Jericho has to go to WCW and he has to be stolen. But I can make him a huge star. But anyways, guys, like, comment, subscribe. We'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.